ist. Yo, what's good, you? Show me. Some boy, oh, back in the big. Let me tell to the bill, motherfucker. Ladies, man, motherfucker, Chocolate King, motherfucker, Heen. You feel me? H to the double E. Don't forget the M. All I want is M's. You feel me? But yeah, anyways, uh, I'm in front of Wayne Stop right now. It's been a minute, bro. You feel me? Just, just me putting on the phone. Just feel like talking, man. Shorties, man, they'll have your mind fucked up. I'm telling you, they'll have your mind fucked up. I'm telling you, all my young niggas out there, bro. Don't be too quick. <laughs> I'm telling you. But still be on your shit. You did me? Don't be too quick, but be on your shit. You know? Play out to get. I was already doing that shit, but. Anyways. But yeah, I'm looking good. This light in my. This light is hitting. I ain't gonna lie. This light is hitting. You see the shirt? The cherry. This motherfucker clean. I ain't gonna lie. Motherfucker cherry on it. I just like the. I don't know. I don't know. That shit just look clean to me. You did. You did. I gotta get my hair braided though. Or I'm finna get jo um, box braids actually. They coming soon. I'm not taking these out though. Like, I know like somebody like told me, well, Shorty told me like, you gotta take these out to braid them and all that, right? Box braids. To be honest, like, I mean, we gonna see. Cause I don't like doing shit everybody else doing it for me. I don't wanna take these out. And, and yeah. So. I'm gonna try to get them, you know, boxed like this, but like just wet it, you feel me? So when it's wet, it's more, it's down and it's more easier to manage. And then just do it like that. And if it don't look right, then I mean, take them out. And then if I feel like taking these out, I mean, I, I can't take all of them out because most of them is already dreaded. You feel me? But y'all know what I mean. Yeah. Man, this school shit, bro. This motherfucker's. Teachers warned us, but it wasn't gonna be easy. At all. Like, it's even harder though, cause it's Zoom though. Like, if it was in a class, it'll be like less challenging, cause it's like, at least I gotta wake up and go. If I'm getting out of the house, you feel me? And, and I'm going to a new, newer space environment, you feel me, every day. Instead of just being in the house, like, I'm trying to do work in the, in the building I sleep at, you feel me? I sleep in this motherfucker, so I wake up, I'm still in that mode. I'm not in that school mode, I'm in that relaxed mode, you get me? Like, yeah, and I just gotta, so. And then I'm in that two year part, I should get out that motherfucker. I should just stay at LB for four years and just do it like that or something, I don't know. Nah, I ain't gonna make it, I'm trying to make it easier on myself. Come in that two year program, you feel me? So they give me work, like, that would make me graduate in two years. So two years, I have to graduate in two years, bro. You feel me? I'm transfer. So they, it's like, bro, I got three English classes. First English class I already got a whole lot of essay shit. I already knew it was gonna come. I knew it was gonna come already, but I already knew like in college, like the English classes was gonna have essays all the time and all that. It's just, you know, it's just, man, more difficult, bro. This nigga got a Sincario mask on. Rayma Studio, Spider Man. What the fuck? What mess is that? This nigga, bro. This nigga is goofy, bro. Goofy, bro. Look at this nigga. Look at this nigga. Oh, he doing that cause it's his kid. Never mind. He still look goofy though. But yeah, I'm at Wingstar waiting for my food. You feel me? Got me a 15 piece. Got me the motherfucking mango habanero. Uh, honey barbecue. And I'm trying this new flavor. Uh, spicy Korean. Yeah. That be fire. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. You know. It's the uh, special today, too. The Wingstar special. So, you know, 60, I think 60 cent wings, 90 cent wings. I don't know. So I got a 15 piece for $9. Fifteen, nine dollars, nine dollars, nine dollars only. Nine. Don't waste my time. 
All I got is a dime. I see you on the street. I'm like, yes, you're a dime. Oh, so fine. Fine like wine. When you whine on me, I'm like, damn, I wish I was with you and not with the homies all day. I'm trying to take you on a date, call you bae. Yeah, she mine, she fine. But she playing with my mind. I'm playing. Anyways. Yeah. I'm going to go take and see my food right. I'll, see, I'll catch y'all next. What's good with y'all next? You feel me? Y'all young and old next. Y'all ugly and old next. Y'all pretty ass females. All that. You feel me? I'm playing. Man. It's pretty much just... Um, gonna go with the video I did earlier. If I do it, I'm dropping it anyways. You dig? Got some wing stock right here. You feel me? Got the 15 piece. Uh, honey barbecue. Mango habanero. Spicy Korean. Yeah. That spicy Korean. I, I think I said in my last video. It's my, but it's my first time trying to spicy Korean. And it was, it's actually good. I ain't gonna lie. Mm hmm. Am I good? Am I a good weed? Mm hmm. Anyways. So it's been a minute since I really did a video. Pretty much that time niggas know what I've been up to. Um, let's see, school shit. No. Pretty much, that's the main thing, school and football. Mm. Working, been trying to, you know, fine. I mean, I already applied already, all those other jobs. See, the only thing, I can't do no nine to five thing. Like, if I do, it's got to be a good job, like a good one. I can't work on no low-graded job, you feel me? That's why I ain't got one right now, because I can easily work at McDonald's. Taco Bell, all that. But now nah, I want to work at, like, you know, a restaurant or a retail store. So, till then, yeah. Getting money other ways, different ways. So, with me, I don't just have one source of income. I have my shit separate. You can have my shit spread out. My money come in at different times. Sometimes I forget I have this money that I didn't did. For me, from two months ago, you feel me? I didn't apply for something two months ago or something like that. And I get something. I'm getting, like, you feel me? Different sources. That's how you control your money. That's how you keep your money growing and keep having money. You feel me? You don't just have one main income and all that. You dig me? I like to have, like, yeah, separate them. Because it's like you getting all this money from this right here, right? And then you still got little side pieces of money coming in, you know, little changes coming in. And that shit, add, you feel me, add up. You know me? Real business shit. Put you on some game, you feel me? Go ahead, take it. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not chasing no more, bro. That's, that's the last time, first and last time I chased a fiend, bro. First and last. That's why I don't chase fiends. That's why I just be doing me and how they come to me. You feel me? And if I'm fighting with them, then I keep them as my friend. Or, you know, that's if, yeah. Came as my friend or they friends, benefit or something. I don't know. I like the, like, my favorite relationship type is when y'all friends, right? But y'all can still fight with each other with the way I'm like, do y'all little shit, but y'all don't take it. I mean, it's boundaries, you feel me? I still got boundaries. That's the time fresh that I like. Cause then it's like, yeah, like y'all both got strong like connection. Y'all both got strong connection to where like y'all not gonna, you know, like lose friendship if I don't know one like the other, you know? Cause it's like it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen to where oh this person like starting to like you feel me me or me starting to like them. A little bit, but it's obvious, you know, it's, it happens when you always, when you cool, when you, you share each other's energy. When you share your energy with somebody else, you feel me? When you can match energy with somebody else, it don't matter if they're friends, with them, you always going to have love for them. You're going you gonna to feel some type of way because that's true 
relationship. You feel me? That's true love, happiness, all that. You did me? So don't run from that. Keep that shit. But that's why a lot of people can't do that, bro. Because they, they start to act weird after, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't do that. It's exciting. I like that shit. Because it's like, no matter what I say and do, I know that. We not finna fuck none of that. We not finna cool your friends. You feel me? None of that. We cool. You have your own. You have your own significance in my life. You feel me? Everyone has their own significance. You feel me? The main thing is that they gotta be funny. Like all my friends, if I'm really like I really fuck with you and all that, you gotta be funny. Like that was like always the main thing to me since I was little. Like, and I was, even before I even decided to go for that type of crowd, I always attracted that type. Like, I always attracted people that was funny and goofy and all that, you know, just handle shit, all that, bro. Just vibe, bro. It's good vibes, good vibes only. I can't function around fake vibes, for real. For real, like, I'm dead ass. Like, I can feel that shit, and I start to act weird. I start to do weird shit, like, come on, yeah. I'm trying to get used to it, too. Not used to it, like, used to being around. I mean, t to be real, out here, you got to get used to fake shit. You got to get used to that shit. You feel me? You're going to be running all the time. Not even if you choose to. You feel me? Not even your, your friend-wise. Not that. Because that's something you could choose. But just in general, bro. When people you meet or whatever, with what the wham. For real. But hey, it is what it is. No. It ain't what it ain't. Like I always say, you can't make what it is what it ain't. And what it ain't what it is. Because what it is is always going to be what it is. You feel me? And what it ain't, it's always going to be what it ain't. You get me? Once you're trying to make what it ain't what it is, man, it's going to fuck you up mentally. Did? Yeah, bro. What else been up? What else been up? What else been up? Shit, nothing. Same old. Listen to music, all that. I ain't gonna lie, my feelings kinda hurt cause it's shorty, bro. And when I going back to me chasing, like, I told her everything that was like, not everything on my mind, but pretty much all the shit she needed to know. Like, so she could have, like, you feel me, know what's on my mind about her. You did me, and I'm not, you know, playing about how I feel type. You did me? Like, I told her, She's just a different breed, bro. It was different, like, I, like it was, like, different type of energy that I was, I'm like, ooh, you did me? I'm like, ooh, this shit nice. I like this. You know, she was getting on my nerves and all that, you feel me? She was, man. But it was like, she wasn't on me. Like, she wasn't, she was on me to, like, she was, like, it was weird, bro. It was just the whole Everything, situation, how we met, all that, it was just crazy weird, bro. Like, I was just, like, doing my, doing me, you did me. And she was doing her on me, <laughs> you did me. She's getting on my nerves. I told her, I told her, I was like, you mom, bro. You did me. Simple. Like, I already know everything I need to know. Like, like with me, it don't take me no one week, two weeks to figure out if I like this person. You did me? It don't not take me that long. Because I, 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 when I first meet you, everybody I, I meet, damn near, I read them. You feel me? Mostly females. And if I'm, I find, if you're going to be around me. If you're going to be around me, then I got to know who you is, what type of person you is. In order, you know, if you're going to be around me. She was cool when I first met her. Man. Well, let me rephrase. When I first laid my eyes on her, man, light skin, shorty, she from Atlanta too, man, thick, all that. It was the homegirl birthday party. Well, not party, but it was her birthday. Went to her crib. Her mom had cooked some food, some seafood bro broil and all that. You know. At first, I ain't really, I seen her, but it was like another thing to me, like another. You know, just easy, regular shit. Like, I wasn't starstruck. You did me? I was 
talking because I've been around a lot of bad things already, you feel me? So it was nothing new to me. So I was just like, hey, like, hey, you know, just talking, having a conversation while we're in the living room, you know, we cool, I'm doing my thing, you know me? They playing music, you know, when I first I'm like, yeah, bet, you feel me? They playing music on the TV, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's all I need. That's all I need, bro, don't get me around no music. Get me around music, I'm, I'm doing my, I'm doing everything, for real. So yeah, I was just studying her and shit, seeing how she was. And then after that, we went to um the beach with me, Belmont, all of us. We were just chilling. You know, she started getting my nerves. She kept calling me a kid. What really got me high was when she called me 16. And it reminds you, it's a Friday and we at Belmont. And there's a lot of people. Like, hella people. Like, usually when I go there, it's, it's not, it's barely, it's barely anybody out there. You feel me? In the parking lot. It's just, and it's, I like it like that. It's cool, it's chill. Man, we pulled up, pack, pack. Full of people fishing. That's why I guess they do that every Friday. I don't know. Or they just not starting to do that. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pack. I just, as soon as we got there, I sat in the car, so I'm like, bro, like, I don't know, I don't even feel like getting out no more, like, you feel me, like, bro, I'm not trying to be around so many people, I hate this shit, like, fuck it, bro, they all got out, so I got out, you know, got out, scanned the environment, you know, all right, I think I hit somebody car on an accident, I ain't give a fuck, though, it was, an accident. it was like a little tap, you feel me, a little tap, a little tap tap ain't nothing wrong, but, uh, yeah, so, from there, like, we was just still chopping. I was just, like, I didn't even go to her. I mean, I, I went to her, but I was still chilling with the... It was weird, bro. It was weird. Because I'm used to females coming home to me, you know me. And me, and then after that, just... Her energy was, like, weird. Like, it was like, are you fucking with me or not? Because me, I don't like looking like stupid. You feel me? If I feel like you're not fucking with me, then, like, I don't know. I might not. You know, try anything, I might just keep you as, okay, bet she like that, she want to be bougie, she want to be all that, bet, you feel me, she, she cool though, you feel me, she cool though, she ain't an enemy, but it's, nah, I ain't pursuing, but, when I was walking on the tra trail, I'm like, you know what, nah, I gotta pursue, I gotta see, I gotta know more, you feel me, I like that shit, I like when your vibe gave me curiosity, like, I told her, I was like, ooh, like, like her vibe is something I want to see more about, you feel me? It was something about her. She was different, like, all the other females I encountered. You feel me? For real. So, yeah. She was pressuring me. She was, hey, she was pressuring me. She didn't give a fuck. How, how, what she said, how she said it, she just said it was, you feel me, for the most part. And I could tell, like, I already, <laughs> I already knew about her, bro. Like, <laughs> she, because she, like, for her, the main problem with her that I didn't like when was that, like, when was, like, right there, you feel me, was she'll say something out loud, and then she'll say, never mind. And I hate that shit, bro. Like, bro, that shit's annoying. Like, why you gonna say it? I know people think out loud, but... You can, like, bro, you ain't got to say it. Like, it's like, bro, if you say it out loud, might as well you say it, you feel me, again. You feel me? Like, oh, well. I'll catch y'all later. Yeah, back in the beat, feel me? Back home. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Feel me? About old girl. Um, But, yeah, I told her about it, bro. Like, I noticed that shit. You feel me? I noticed a lot of stuff. You feel me? Like I said, study. Feel me, reading her, all that. So, I was like, I, I was like getting frustrated and shit. Like, bro, like, is she feeling me? Is she not? Like, what's up with her? Like, she, you know, she acting like weird. Like, what's up? So, I was just started doing me. You feel me? Just being in my own world, going back to my own world. You feel me? And then we were just sitting down, and I was like, 
bro, like, what's on your mind? Like, you feel me? Like, what's up? Cause like, I could tell it was a lot of shit on her, in her, in her head. You feel me? She was thinking about or something. I'm assuming it looked like that. And then she told me, she asked me the same question. I'm like, bro, like, like what's like I I I don't care about sharing my thoughts. You feel me? For the most part, not like I don't care about sharing my mind, cause it's what it is. You feel me? Like I don't care. It's how I'm feeling. So, man, she told me what's on. Like what am I thinking about? She said what's on your mind. I'm like you on my mind. You feel me? Like dead ass. Like bro, she was on my mind. Like that's the only thing on my. She was the only thing on my mind. Like everything from when like from. Why she acting like that from, oh, I wonder where she from, or I wonder how she is, or I wonder, it's all this, bruh. Wondering, curiosity, you feel me? All that. And I told her, like, some real shit, bruh. Like, I told her what, my, what I was thinking about her, about my mind. I guess she she not used to that, or she not believe because she was, she been hurt before, you feel me? She was in a, in a relationship, she, nigga broke her heart. You know that whole get down. You feel me? So she been she loved someone before, but yeah. And I know how that feels, you did me? But look at me, I'm chilling. You did me for the most part. But yeah, so I told her I was like I I was telling her like how I think I feel it, like how I think she is. I was telling her how I think she is. And I was right, you did me. I already know. I, I could hear her. I felt her staring at me while I was talking to her on that. Cause I was just, I was just talking like, oh, I feel like, what do you like this and like that? Like you don't want to say, you always catch yourself from saying stuff because you don't, you too aggressive tie. Like you don't want to hurt somebody else's feelings. You nice, all that. You never know, cause in the past I could tell you probably said some things that done ruined you for me, relationship with other people or all that. You did me, and then she just like kept agreeing with me and all that. I could just hear, her. I could hear it in my ears. Just, you feel me? Agreeing with me when I'm saying shit and shit. So I already know I already had that down pat. I already know I wasn't. Yeah. I just got that skill. You did? I just got that skill. But, um. Yeah, bro. It's whatever now. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna sit. I ain't gonna act like I ain't, I ain't hurt, hurt. You feel me? Only mad like two days. You feel me? That's it. But it's just like, damn. I really, it's just crazy. It's shocking to me. It's shocking to me because I, this never happened. For you, I don't chase. I used to, did I? Yeah. I used to like that shit. I used to love chasing. Like, you feel me? Like, like a lion type. You found a lion. That's my prey. And then I got, I'm trying to, even though I already know, like, she feeling a nigga. You know the ones that play hard to get? But, it's obvious that she, that she wants you, you feel me, and all that. So now it's just up to you to keep, to show her, to prove to her that that you really fuck with her and that you not just, oh, giving up to her. Usually, nah, I didn't give it. That's the thing. Like, I could have been giving up on her. Like, ah, uh, on to the next. You did me? But she wasn't on no, she wasn't no on to the next type shorty. You did me? At the time, you feel me? Like, she wasn't like that. She was a... Hold on, I gotta see more about her. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta risk it. You feel me? I gotta risk my emotions. I gotta risk, yeah, yeah. I gotta risk. And yeah, shit. But hey, it's cool though. It's a learning experience. I don't know y'all probably like, ah, oh, he hurt. Oh, what the hell? He sipping, all that. Man, watch out, nigga. Like, bro, watch out, y'all. Like, y'all ain't never, you feel me, felt bad or whatever with the man. I mean, I'm chilling, listening to music, do what I do, doing my, I still got other shit to worry about. School, football, I still got my life. You feel me? That's just, uh, I was just, you know, a little accessory that I wanted to add to my life to make it better and put, so, Really, too, I want to put some love in her life, too. For real. Because I could tell she been hurt. I already tell. You feel me? I know something already happened. Something, you feel me? She suffered with, with depression and anxiety and all that. And, like, come on now. I'm trying to help you out. Like, you need me as much as I need you. You feel me? The difference is, you need me. You did me? 
I need and want you. You know me? Because it's, yeah, simple. Just because you need somebody don't mean that uh, you have to go with them. You know me? Because there's a whole lot of people in this world that, you feel me, like you can easily match with and they can help you. And you won't even know. It's like it'll be ones that surprise you that you never even know that you needed them until. I'm the ones that's, that's cool. Like you never know you needed them until, like, they really show that. You know, like, damn, I really, like, need her. I really want, like, you feel me? All that. Need her? Hell no. I was just caught up in my emotions, actually. I ain't gonna know how to think about it. Yeah. I don't need that bit. The fuck? Man, what? I told her I need her. I, that, I think that's why I fucked up, because now she thinking that, oh, I could do anything I want, and he'll stay. Fuck no, <laughs> you feel me? It was almost like the, I almost caught myself, bro. Good thing I caught myself. I almost did that shit, you feel me? Um, I almost got caught looking like a goofy. Almost did, you feel me? But I caught myself like, hold on. I had to remember, like, nigga, I'm that night, nigga, what the fuck? Because I ain't gonna lie, she is, you feel me? That bitch, you feel me? I ain't gonna say that shit, so. Yeah, that bitch, you feel me? She that, you feel me? She is. And I'm that nigga. So she that bitch, I'm that nigga. We together. But having my passenger seat, bro, is over with. You get me? I was, that's how it was, bro. But, so, she just, she don't know her. She, she need to grow more. Meaning, like, because she, she was in the rest for five years, you get me? They just, not just broke up, but it's been on, it's, my breakup has been longer than hers, let's say that. Because, you know, mine was uh, sophomore year. For me. So I had all junior year and senior year and this time to recover and understand myself, know myself and all that. She's still fresh to the shit, you did me? So, gotta let go, fly away, you feel me? Fly, fly away. A ricochet. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know the fucking song. Yeah. It's all good, though. Still focus on me, doing me, playing that football. I can't wait till I get on that field, but get on that field, it's over with. Feel me? Gotta put that work in. Feel me? I gotta prove them wrong, bro. I gotta prove them wrong. You feel me? I got to. I like when people doubt me, bro. I like that shit. I love it. I'm like, not love it as in, oh, yeah, please tell me. I don't feel hurt by it a little bit when they say, oh, he can't do it. Oh, he can't do that with the win. Like, when they say, oh, get him out. I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? I do be kind of hurt. Like, damn. But when, you, but it's like, bad. Because when people doubt you, it's like, there's no other, like, what else is there to do? You feel me? But prove them wrong. You didn't? Bro, when people doubt you, it's like, yeah, like, you have no other choice but prove him wrong. But when people, like, say, oh, yeah, he could he could do this. When they people when they see something greater than you and they tell you, and then you, it's like, damn. Because it's like, they're high. Their expectations is so high of you. And it's like, damn, you, with me, it's like, I got to meet that shit. And it's so high. But then when you doubting me, it's like, I set my own bar. You did me. It's like, oh, I didn't know you can do that. Oh, this and that. Ooh, like, bro, surprise me. Like that, you did me? Simple shit. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we need to hurry up and get back in that class. I can't keep doing this Zoom shit. But, hey, you got to face the challenge. That's the challenge, bro. You got to face it. We all facing it, bro. You know? It's just up to you, bro. That's going to show your strength. For real. It's testing all of our strengths. I'm just glad I'm not the only one, you feel me? At least that, you know, you're not the only one that's on the same. Everybody else feel the same way. You feel me? You could say all this about it. You could say everything about it. You could say, you feel me, capital S with it. You could say all this shit. But you got to still work. You still got to put action into it, bro. You know what I mean? It's easy to talk about something. It's easy to just talk, you know. But more the goal, the more thing, more goal is 
action. Ax be loud in the word, that's what I heard. Sticks and stomach break my bones. But words will cut deep on me. Words will cut deep if you let them. But yeah, I just want to get back. Um, you feel me? Go ahead. Since I ain't did a video in a minute, just drop a video just to feel like talking. You did me? Uh, anyways, I gotta get back to this work and shit. You feel me? <sighs> I've been trying to do this math. I've been stuck on the same problem. And it's, bro, oh my God. Like, this shit is retarded, bruh. You taught it. I hate like, oh, if you have any questions, email me. Ain't nobody trying to do that, bro. Cause you, what if I'm, you know, like you doing something and I'm emailing you, I want to know right then and there. You did me. I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't got no patience, bro. You feel me? You better reply to me quick, fast, and in a hurry. Quick, fast, speedy. Speedy and zealous. You better be speedy and zealous in that bitch. You feel me? If it ain't speedy, I get needy. But anyways, um, like I said, I'm going to keep trying to put videos out there for y'all. I ain't quit, you, you know, this whole YouTube shit for, you know. It's just, I ain't be feeling like picking up the phone or whatever. I don't know. And then all the school starting. I don't know. But you going to see, bro, because y'all know my mind be changing. I can say this. I can say all this and then next you know I think something different. But um anyways, I'll catch y'all later. You feel me? Catch y'all on the next vid. Um all that I still gotta do the smash pass. I still got a whole bunch of videos. Like I still got a whole lot of videos I gotta do. Wanna do. Gotta and wanna do. You did me. But yeah, I'll catch y'all next vid. You feel me? Stay you, stay true. Dude.